And as we mentioned, plenty of storm activity throughout the desert southwest today. Our very own Vanessa Gungora joins us from the foothills with more details. This active weather entered the desert southwest earlier this afternoon. It brought us heavy rain, gusty winds, thunder, and lightning. Those conditions especially picked up in the foothills off Foothill Boulevard and Frontage Road, affecting local businesses like Maggie's Gift Shop that sits here on the side of the road. She was unfortunately alone today selling pottery garden decorations when items started to fly away, and she had to close up shop. The work on the is very hard, very hard, but I mean, I used to, I mean, it's, it's my life to uh, bother me much. I know we have some I mean, beautiful days. We have, um, I mean, uh, days like this, which is still beautiful. She says, regardless of the weather, she loves her job. One young man saw Maggie struggling and pulled over to help her. Yeah, I saw her. I saw the wind was picking up really bad, so I just came by and. I was He's like, hey, so why not? Nice. You're so nice. Thank you. Thank you. Not only did the clouds make their way over to Imperial Valley, but also extreme gusty winds up to 60 miles per hour. This photo shows a pole right next to the Hopeville Chamber of Commerce that was nearly taken out completely due to the dust storm. And according to the Imperial Irrigation District, multiple power outages affected Imperial Valley due to the storm. San Luis even saw some hail action come their way. And the storms aren't done just yet. The desert southwest may see some possible showers coming this weekend. For more details on the dust storm and storm impacts, you can go to our website at kyma.com. Reporting in Yuma, I'm Vanessa Gangora, 13. Moving on now, one of the two 22-year-old twin brothers charged in connection to the fatal shooting of a 15-year-old Yuma boy is heading to trial. 22-year-old Adrian Perez Arzola will now put his fate in the hands of a jury after previously rejecting a plea offer that would have reduced his crime to second-degree murder. Perez Arzola, along with his twin brother David, have been charged with premeditated first-degree murder and conspiracy to commit murder, along with aggravated assault. Perez Arzola addressed the court asking for a new attorney, but that request was denied by a judge. His trial is set to begin next April. And the man charged with the death of an Oregon woman has pleaded guilty to first-degree murder. Jorge Aguilar was set for trial before taking the state's plea offer this week, admitting to the death of Kirsten Fish, who was shot and killed in November of 2020. The plea agreement comes with a stipulation that Aguilar be sentenced to 25 years to life in prison. The two allegedly had a relationship before Fish moved to Oregon. And then Aguilar convinced her to take a trip to Yuma on a visit back to Arizona. That's when the murder took place. For NZ